Hello everyone. Today we shall look into the author Charles Dickens. And in the further slides, you will come to know why is he is so important. Why he has been a prominent person in the English literature. So made easy just for you. Come, we shall get into the slides. So Charles Dickens was known as Charles John Hotham Dickens. He was born on seventh February eighteen twelve at Hampshire, England. He was an English writer and social critic. He created some of the world's best known fictional characters and is regarded by many as the greatest novelist of the Victorian era. So his works were very famous during the 20th century and also during his lifetime and by the 20th century what happened was all the scholars critics recognized him as a literary genius and even now his novels and short stories are widely read. So as I told you that he has he was born in England. Dickens he left school to work in a factory when his father was imprisoned. Like though he uh, didn't have any formal education, he edited a weekly journal for twenty years. He wrote fifteen novels, five novellas, hundreds of short stories, and non-fiction articles. He lectured and performed readings extensively, and you know he is a popular letter writer. He he never gets tired of writing letters, and those letters became as novels. Like they uh, were transformed into novel kind of things, and uh, we we would all. Also, look into the further videos uh, about the epistolary novels that Charles Dickens has contributed, and you know he campaigned vigorously for children's rights, education, and other social reforms. Maybe that is why he is known as literary genius of the twentieth century. Now we shall look into the works contributed by Charles Dickens. So Dickens published well over a dozen of novels and novel. As I told you before, like uh, there are a number of short stories written by him, and uh, you know he also created some Christmas themed stories. And there were also a handful of plays and several non-fiction books. So Dickens novels were initially serialized in the weekly and monthly magazines. And uh, I also told you right, he is a man who gets never. Were tired of writing letters, so he, uh, what he did is he uh, wrote mostly in the serialized versions. Only then they were reprinted into a standard books format. And so we shall look into the major works uh, contributed by Charles Dickens. The first one is the Pickwick Papers. The full title is the Posthumous Papers of the Pickwick Club. It was a monthly serial that was. Uh, uh, You know that was uh, broadcasted from April eighteen thirty six to November eighteen thirty seven, and it is important to note all the full names of the works because it may it uh, as of uh, what we have looked into the question papers previous question papers in most of the examinations you will get a question or a match the following in this particular area to uh, you know give the full title of the work. And the next is the Oliver Twist, and the full title is the Adventures of Oliver Twist. It was also a monthly serial, and it was published in the Bentley's Miscellany from February eighteen thirty seven to eighteen thirty nine. And the next work is Nicholas Nickleby, The Life and Adventures of Nicholas Nickleby is the full title. It was the monthly serial, and you will get to know in the full title itself what the serial is about, what the book is about. Okay, so this Nicholas Nickleby was published from April eighteen thirty eight to October eighteen thirty nine. And the next title is the Old Curiosity Shop. Sorry, the next work. So it was a weekly serial. So as of now, we have looked into the monthly serial. This is a weekly serial uh, where it was published in the Master Humphrey's Clock from April eighteen forty to November eighteen forty one. Next, we shall look into some other works uh, by Charles Dickens, which are also important. Barnaby Rudge, Barnaby Rudge, A Tale of the Riots of Eighty, uh, which is the whole title of the uh, work, and it was a weekly serial in Master Humphrey's Clock. And we also looked into another one work, which was also published in Master Humphrey's Clock. Do you remember? Yes, it was the Old Curiosity Shop, and this Barnaby Rudge was a weekly serial uh, from February to November eighteen forty one. 
Next one is a Christmas Carol. Uh, the whole title is the Christmas Carol in prose, being a ghost story of Christmas, uh, which was published in 1843. Next, we shall look into the Dombe and Son, and uh, this is the work which deals with the firm of Dombe and Son, and it is a whole a process of a merchant uh, trade, and it is a wholesale, retail, and for exportation. It is a monthly serial from October eighteen forty six to April eighteen forty eight. Next is the Haunted Man. Uh, the whole title is the Haunted Man and the Ghost Bargain, a fancy for Christmas time. It was published in eighteen forty eight. The next book is the David Copperfield, uh, which is uh, it deals with the personal history, adventures, experience, and observation of David Copperfield, the younger of Blunderstone Brewery. and it is a monthly serial um but he never wanted to publish it actually and it was published it actually in may 1849 to november 1850 next is a tale of two cities which was a weekly serial in all the year round it was published from 30th april 1859 to 26th november 1859 And the next is the Great Expectations, which was also a weekly serial in all the year round, and it was from first December eighteen sixty to third August eighteen sixty one. It's okay if you don't remember the dates, but it is essential to remember the serials in which mag in which magazines it was published, because you will be asked in uh, which magazine this Great Expectations was published. So you have to remember all those magazine names. Okay, so the next is our mutual friend, which was a monthly serial from May eighteen sixty four to November eighteen sixty five, and the last one is Edwin Drood, uh, which is the mystery of Edwin Drood is the monthly serial. The whole title is the mystery of Edwin Drood. Okay, and it was published from April eighteen seventy to September eighteen seventy, and this is one thing that you have to note. It was left unfinished due to Charles Dickens' death. Okay, so uh, if your if a question occurs which was the unfinished work by Charles Dickens, so the answer will be the Edwin Drood. Okay. Now we shall look into the Charles Dickens literary success. Uh, Charles Dickens literary success began with the 1836 serial publication of the Pickwick Papers. So it was a publishing phenomenon, and uh, in in 1843 his novel A Christmas Carol it remained especially popular, and it continued to inspire so many adaptations in every artistic genre. And uh, Oliver Twist and Great Expectations are also frequently adapted, and like many. of his novels it evokes images of early victorian london like he would be portraying the exact scenario of early victorian london and his 1859 novel a tale of two cities uh, this a tale of two cities was set in london and paris and you will be asked a question what are the two places what are the two cities in tale of two cities that charles dickens has talked about so they are london and paris and it is his best known work of of historical fiction okay and uh, uh, he became the most famous celebrity of his era even and the next is the term dickensian okay so this term dickensian is used to describe something that is reminiscent of dickens and his writings so if a person is uh, portraying or if a person is a follower or he has been influenced by charles dickens and writes on poor social and uh, working conditions or uh, he brings in the comically repulsive characters and he will be called as dickensian okay so this is the term meaning of Dickensian.